You know what? Folks are always asking me, they say, well, Mel, how do you do it? And I say, do what? And they say, well, Mel, how do you write a song? Usually I tell them by experience. Now, it doesn't have to be your own experience. It can be someone else's happiness or their tragedy. But if I may tonight, I'd like to, to tell all of y'all about an experience that I had one morning about 3 a.m. My wife, Doris, woke me up. And she hit the old stuttering boy and she knocked me all the way out in the middle of the floor. She said, Melvin? Melvin. <laughs> Listen, Wormy. It ain't as bad as Claude. <laughs> I sound like a hammer. And I said, What is it? And she said, Melvin, who's Julie? Well, you talk about stuttering. <laughs> oh, so I, I got on with it. It took me about 15 minutes to, to tell her that it was a racehorse up in Kentucky. <laughs> a few days after that, though, I went home. I said, honey, have I had any messages today? And she says, yes. She said, your racehorse called today, Melvin. <laughs> now, that's an experience, and I'd like to do this especially uh, for my policeman friend over there, Bert. I'm going to do this for him. And I hope that you folks out there in the audience tonight, I hope that you folks don't ever have to go through anything like what I went through. But if you do, you might come up with a few little words that, that goes something like this. Cross the table over coffee just this morning. Woman called me by surprise without a warning And she said, honey, you talk in your sleep Then she began to weep And she said, tell me now and tell me truly But who's Julie? With a blank look on my face, I searched my mind For an answer or excuse of some kind But the words wouldn't come and my mind went blank Slowly my head just sank and she said Honey, you know I love you truly but who's Julie? Oh, Julie, what's this hole you got on me? You're on my mind in my dreams. You know you should not be there, Julie. I'd like to say Julie's just a friend of mine. But I know that would not satisfy your mind You see, Julie gave me something that you did not She remembered what you forgot And honey, I'm sorry I've got to tell you so cruelly 
You know, I just can't stand up here and uh, tell all you nice Houston folks a big old lie like that. Uh, actually, that didn't happen to me. Actually, I've been happily married for about 13, 14 years now. Doris and I have 11 bird dogs at home. We've got, got four beautiful little children that we're awfully proud of, and I don't want you folks leaving here tonight thinking that old Mel Tillis is that kind of guy. And now you know, and don't you ever ask me again. Who's Julie? Thank you. Thanks up there too, everybody.